Military leaders were grilled on Capitol Hill today about problems with base housing they've been, that we've been telling you about for weeks now. From leaky roofs to rats to mold throughout the housing. And on your side, Jeff Patterson joins us live from McDill, where these problems are pervasive. Jeff. Good evening, Jen. I have some photos to show you tonight that were sent to me demonstrating just how bad this mold problem is. And you aren't going to believe what you see. Imagine going on vacation and coming back to your base military house and finding a mushroom. That's right, a mushroom growing out of your floor. These photos were sent to us by a service member who lived in McDill Base Housing. Mold became so bad in some homes, they became unlivable. James Best moved to Tampa in 1999 and retired from the Navy in 2008. While at McDill, his family had severe health problems he blames on the mold. Approximately after one or two years of moving in, my, my daughter started uh, having nosebleeds at night. And, you know, that was real concerning to me and my wife. Bess no longer lives on base, but his family is still having long-lasting health issues. The U.S. Secretary of the Air Force came to McDill recently to see the problems firsthand. Today, Secretary Heather Wilson answered questions in front of a Senate committee. Our military families deserve good housing. Based on her conversations with families in military housing, Wilson told the senators what needs to be done. And when there's a problem with the house, it should be fixed promptly and competently. The military leaders also presented a 12-point resident right plan today. Uh, the 12 point, the last point on that plan is that there will be no reprisals if military families report problems. Of course, many military families are afraid to speak up, thinking if they do, it's career suicide. This 12-point plan seeks to put away those fears. Reporting live at McDill, Jeff Patterson. News Channel 8. Many veterans don't receive.